Bali TV. So much more impressive than my screen. Um, oh shit, can I say that? Might have the dark web now, Joe. Dev's dark web diaries. <laughs> This is dark web as fuck, this is. It's a slippery slope, isn't it? Speak for yourself, Mike. You can't eat together, you bellend. It's prison. Are you done? <laughs> Hello, I'm Joe. Welcome to Bally TV. This is an opportunity to convene and be one because you can't go to the pub and you can't see a therapist. So welcome and hopefully you will be relieved of some sort of weight. Thanks. And to reassure our viewers at home, we are in lockdown and we are being safe. There's lots of PPI everywhere. It's actually PPE. Ah, yeah. It's PPI. Oh, PPI. <laughs> Thank you. And PPE. <laughs> um, and we're washing our hands at every opportunity, keeping a distance. No sneezies. Listeners and viewers of the world, this is uh, our friend from Russia. Welcome, Nadia from Pussy Riot. Thank you very much. Nadia! Thank you so much. Welcome, Dev, Devinda, Devonshire. How are you doing, Dev? Yeah, really good, man. Yeah, good. Thank you for asking. Thank you for having me. Welcome, Mike Skinner from The Streets. Hi, Mike Skinner. Thanks for having me, man. Okay, let's have a chat. How are you guys coping? Obviously, we're, we're all in different degrees of, of isolation, so it'd just be cool to know what you're up to. Well, my life, um, honestly, nothing changed that much in my life because um, I'm a person who sits at uh, my house all the time anyway without quarantine as well. So I'm just like, I'm just living my life. Are you writing anything at the moment? Uh, two songs are coming out, like super soon. It sounds about domestic violence it's, uh, and also about um, uh, emotional violence. And I personally fell the victim of this kind of violence because it's like first time I'm talking about this experience publicly. Well, I can, I can say from, from a male perspective, like the best I've ever been um, is when I learned from my partners. I was a really jealous, passive aggressive man and aggressive sometimes in, in my past. And it, it was like jealousy was a huge part of my psyche. I was a real fucking prick. And I, you know, I was, I was bossing loads of drugs and drinking all the time. And it was like, I, I learned over time. And I think your, your music and, and songs that you're writing, hopefully will obviously help women, but also hopefully change men's behavior when they hear it, you know? Yeah, that's, that's what I've been doing. Mike Skinner from The Streets. We are right talking about the fact that we, we worked with you, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, um, yeah. I accidentally rapped on your song. I listened back to it and, like, I think I, like, rapped on it a bit. It's, it's fucking... amazing. No, it's, no, it's, a, I was talk. I, who was I, I was talking to someone the other day about it and it reminded me of, and this might really offend you, but it reminded me of when Pete Doherty <laughs> uh, did a, a, a remix of mine. Whenever someone else comes in and just almost just riffs on something like that. It's, it's like purely creative. And your verse um, on None of Us Are Getting Out of This Life Alive uh, are amazing. It's, it's a pure window into someone's mind reacting. Uh, no, thank you. Thank you for doing it. Well, thanks for having me, mate. But th this is the beauty of where we're at now, is that Idols, we all like separately but remotely writing an another album together. Isn't that right, Devo? Yeah. It's a good time for collaborations between bands and other artists in the industry too. Nadia, would you play in Idols? Only if I can play uh, classical piano. That's the only one thing that I can do really. Do you ever like write music on a computer? Do you like fucking write any techno or? 
but I'm still um, not the best producer because sometimes yeah. it's just really frustrating, especially if you work with new producers and they just don't get it. And you're like, how? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. get it, it's obvious. <laughs> and like, it's not their fault. And then sometimes I'm getting mad at my producers if they don't get it. And then I'm like, bitch, if you want to, it sound like in your head, just take computer in your own hands and do it. Nadia, you sound like you're quite scary in the studio. Is that? I feel like I have like a really weird profession because I'm kind of like torturing myself slowly because I'm talking about like as an artist and talking about like really heavy topics like you know yeah like it being killed by the police or a woman being killed by her husband and like I have to cope not only with isolation but also with these topics because I'm like kind of going crazy sometimes. <laughs> I, I guess I'm kind of theatrical when it comes to vocal because in one one second um, I'm singing like na, 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 and then I'm doing like this <laughs> and that's my thing to make a lot of contrasts. I, that's just kind of like like you know like that. <laughs> that was that. Can was... <laughs> <laughs> we do that in time? <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Oh. Sick. <laughs> that's, that's so much more impressive than my scream. Um, Dev, Dev, Dev can't scream at all now because he smokes 40 a day and he's, he, he's been on the nose bag for the last 20 years of his life. He can't scream. So we've had to get fucking David Yao involved from... Uh... Oh shit, can I say that? Fuck it, we've had to get David Yao involved. We've had to get a guy yeah. who's been screaming for like 40 years to replace yeah. De Devo. Because he can't scream. Isn't that right, Devo? Well, to be honest, uh, you know, if I had a monitor, if someone didn't have four monitors per show, then I might be able to save my precious voice, Joe. Your voice sounds good at the moment, Devo. It's all right. It's because I can't get any drugs, Joe. <laughs> oh, sick. <laughs> 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 One thing that you you might not realise in, in, in Britain is that we never really get any news of Russia. Well, in Russia, it's illegal right now to get out of the house if you don't have a special permission. You know, the thing that really sucks is our government reacts on all kind of issues with the same tool, which is police oppression and police violence instead of using resources that they have because our um, country is really really rich and if you don't take a look at the amount of wealth that we have it's incredible it's just not distributed at all i'm socialist as fuck because i just think it's really important for us to feel equal in society that's crazy that there so there's no financial aid as i see it they talk a lot they promise a lot but they don't really do shit but i i can't wait when it, I, it will be over but hopefully we'll we'll find out right in the uk uh yeah, yeah. garden well. centers yeah garden, garden centers are in yeah let's go is it i'll meet you there it'll be like the new parks everyone i'll meet you in reading be... You know, is there a big garden centre in Reading? There's bound to be one in Reading. It's the commuter city. Let's do it. Let's get shitted. <laughs> do you find that um, in Russia, people become a bit more, uh, a lot more conservative as they get older? Are the older generations more in line with what Putin's government are about? Yeah, Putin does have a lot of support of people around 60s and older. Because he plays on their sentiments about uh, Soviet Union. As you get older, you've got you're more conservative because obviously you've got some stuff. You've 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 achieved a uh, a life, and you don't want that life to be taken away from you. Politics is like it is basically the results of discussions around the welfare of the people. And the thing about old people is they become more selfish in their ways because they're either deflated or in their experience, they become cynical. So they, they think less about the people and think about themselves. An old person has, by definition, more wisdom than you, don't they? 
It depends on things like um, what they what they fucking read. You're talking about you're talking about learning new stuff, aren't you? And I'm 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 actually talking about the human, like knowing understanding the human condition. I think mm. seventy five year olds understand every every person in this well every person in this country apart from ninety year olds. You know they understand being kids. They understand being parents. Uh, yeah. But, but yeah, I just think they don't. I think we should we should let them just not really get involved too much because because they're a bit tired. But maybe we should like set up like a website where they can just secretly say what they really think. Because I think you'd be surprised. You've already fucked them over with a website. They won't know how to fucking use it. <laughs> Mate, are you? Are you <laughs> I'm mad? joking. Again, it's it. <laughs> Old people are really on this FaceTime. You should see my dad with a fucking iPad. It's, it's, he holds it like it's some sort of ancient Egyptian relic. I mean, <laughs> trying to work the camera. It's, it's a beautiful thing. I, I love him. Guys. Yeah? I wanted to let you know that I have to go soon because I have to do one thing. But okay. thank you so much for having me. And it was great to have this convo. Nice to yeah. meet you. Thanks for coming. Bye, TV. Nadia uh, had to leave, um, which is fair enough. These are busy times. Um, and in replacement, we've got Brian. Our friend from the fandom and brother of love. How you doing, mate? I'm good, thank you very much. All right, so what's next then, kids? I might have the dark web now, Joe, just so you know. <laughs> you got the dark web? <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Dev's Dark Web Diaries, <laughs> day one. Tell us about it, Dev. What's going on? <laughs> what's going on in the dark web? It's, it's, it's very strange. It's not very user-friendly. Who'd have thought it? <laughs> well, you, have you actually got the dark web? Yeah, I was, I, we were having a conv- I was having a Skype Zoom chat with a friend of ours the other day. I don't remember how the conversation came up, but his mate was next to him. He was working and was like, it's really fucking easy. You just have to do this. Here's loads of links. And next thing I knew, I was just on a site where you can buy like... A hitman. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's a slippery slope, isn't it? It's crazy. Like, yeah. You just look in there and it's like, it's, it seems safer than eBay because they don't take your money until you get the product. Whereas is eBay, that Bitcoin? It, yeah, it's Bitcoin, yeah. Is it websites where you could like, is it like eBay? Can you just go on like a drug one and like a gun one? It's not like a search engine, but there's like different marketplaces. And in these marketplaces, you get different pop-ups come up and it's like hallucinogenics, um, uh, stimulants. Blah, 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 blah. And it just goes, yeah, same, same. <laughs> <laughs> what did you buy, Dave? No, 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 no. It's definitely, definitely not buying anything. It's strictly curiosity and research. Dev, are you going to do a big wink at any point? No, 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 no. There's, uh, there's no wink. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My friend um, bought some uh, drugs uh, ages ago on the dark web. This is probably, well, more than f- maybe like seven years, six years ago. And uh, we worked it out that if he'd have, so it was, I think he spent a hundred quid on racket, right? If he'd have kept that hundred okay. quid in Bitcoin, it was worth like two million quid. <laughs> That's, that was the golden age of Bitcoin. Yeah, and we, and, we, and we put it all up our noses. Yeah, that's millions up your nose. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Mike. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you saw on there that wasn't hitmen, stimulants and credit cards? Is there anything that, like, listen, Mike, it's not all hitmen, credit cards and stimulants. They also do... What? I could just imagine like a florist. On a dark web, like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> There's no one buying these flowers. <laughs> I'm, I'm giving away truffles with them as well, and still no one's coming. <laughs> I guess I guess it's gotta be illegal though, hasn't it? Or else you'd just put it on Amazon. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly what? right. <laughs> Toilet roll must have been on there recently. Surely. Yeah. I mean I think I missed the boat on that one, mate. And and <laughs> 
do you know what's happened to all like what the what the drug dealers are doing right now I still get WhatsApp messages. I'm not talking, I don't need drugs, but just as an economic <laughs> are drug Mate, dealers there having is... better time or worse? Apparently, uh, I've, I've asked this question out of curiosity, Mike, um, and apparently it's, it's the same amount, it's just um, less, uh, it's not concentrated in one day, so they're, they're working more throughout the week rather than just on the weekend. Oh, so not like Friday night, it's just like, yeah, so, so Monday, Tuesday is now a thing. For some people, not for me, sober seven months. Because um, I, I, just, I just heard today that um, Corona, the beer company, are doing really well. I was worried about them, actually, Mike, so I'm yeah, glad to hear I, that. Yeah, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? could have gone either yeah, way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Bless them. Well, I, 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 I panic and just change the name to something else. The beer or the virus? <laughs> Sars. <laughs> the beer, or I just sue sue the... I oh know, you can't sue a bunch of fucking scientists. Yeah, my, my sister's it. called Sars, so... <laughs> no way, because she's really infectious. What is the most important thing about humour? Timing. No one, no one here is laughing. Fucking hell. Dev is going to do the Marshmallow Challenge. The Mike, Marshmallow Mike. Test. The Marshmallow Test. That's actually already taken, though, isn't it? I know it is, but that's why it's funny. All right, sick. The Marshmallow Test. <laughs> Ten questions, Dev. You start with a marshmallow in your mouth. I've got a query about size of marshmallow because I went into town today and yeah. what I would think is a normal yeah. marshmallow size I couldn't find so I've either got these guys that's the size those that's guys <laughs> that's normal so yeah use the smaller ones bro okay we've, cool. got, we've got 10 questions all right yeah so if you get a question wrong the following you've got to put two in your mouth for the following question do you see what I'm saying you stop whenever you want to stop but don't inhale um, you get one Mike help and you get one Brian help. Do you, you see? Cool, yeah. All right. What was Nike called before it became Nike? The God? I mean, the God uh, Nike? The shoe, the shoe company, you mad cunt. I'm going to have to use Ask Mike for this one, if he could help me, because I really don't know. Are you Googling it? Mike, are you Googling it? <laughs> you, you didn't. You didn't. Yeah. You didn't, you didn't, I, I didn't You're get like any rules. I'm shit. like dark oh, webbing this shit. Out of order. You're dark webbing. The mm. answer is blue ribbon sports. He's right. He's right. Thanks, Mike. Put two in your mouth, Dev. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. Um, name the youngest ever player. Uh, who do you support, Dev? Newcastle United. <laughs> uh, name the youngest ever player for Newcastle United Football Club. Oh, fuck. You get a bonus point if you tell us his age. Sean or Matty Longstaff. Clearly, you're not a big fan of Newcastle United. The actual answer is Steve Watson. Ah, fuck. Put two in your mouth, mate. Can I physician them, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. You just got to keep them in your, in your mouth, mate. Are you all right? It's like being at the dentist. <laughs> Fuck. You need to get a new dentist, mate. Um, <laughs> right. Who invented the scissors? Dr. Scissor. Fuck me. Do you want to pass this on or do you want to stick with that fucking answer? I'll pass it to Brian. Uh, Mr. Scissor. Fuck me. Um, it was Leonardo da Vinci, actually. Fuck, sounds like him. <laughs> <laughs> he was the definition of the renaissance man yeah definitely put two in mate <laughs> yeah boy <laughs> you, <ready? laughs> you look both happy and stupid okay I'm going to show you a word and you've got to tell me whether it's an Ikea furniture thing 
or a cheese? Are you ready? Tell me when you can see it. I think that's Ikea. You think it's Ikea? Yeah. And you're wrong, you prick. <laughs> right, you ready? What's the most abundant element in the universe, Dev? In the whole universe? Um, no. Gas. No. Nah. Gas. <laughs> Um, like on the from the periodic table, Dev. <laughs> Can I have more? Yeah. Is it like carbon? No, it's not, Mike. It's hydrogen. But good guess, because it was more than gas. Um, Dev, who's harder, me or you? You. I'm a pacifist, mate. Incorrect. Two, please. <laughs> the Talbot Lock. The Talbot Lock, yeah, but I can't do it anymore because I'm a pacifist. All right, who was the legendary Benedictine monk who invented champagne? Think about it, Dev. <laughs> Don Perignon. <laughs> Two more, please, Dev. <laughs> what two sporting goods companies did the, did the Dazzler brothers start? <laughs> <laughs> Correct. You get one point. Put a, put a marshmallow in your mouth, Dev. <laughs> well, don't be sick. Don't be sick. <laughs> Are you ready, Dev? <coughs> um, oh, we've got a flag for you, Dev. It's Nepal, Dev. Thanks very much. What size foot was my mum? <laughs> Correct! Oh, you changed it. <laughs> There's no more room. Are you done? <laughs> oh, wow. That, that was... Yeah. What? That was... Think oh, right. <laughs> this one, is dark web shit. This is dark web as fuck, this is. One marshmallow yeah. per question is more than enough. Yeah, that's <laughs> if you get them right, mate. That's if you get it right. You are stupid, yet a big vessel. But congratulations, because you are now number one on our leaderboard. Thank you, Dev, 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 Dev. What would be your death row dinner? <laughs> uh, great question. Actually, there's a pub near me that do Korean chicken wings. And oh. I've had them once uh, every week since they've started doing takeaway, which is about three weeks. And uh, I, on, I can honestly say I would have uh, chicken wings uh, as my final meal. Although I'd, I'd probably um, stick some um, cyanide in there. Because because oh. I really I, I I don't I don't believe electrocution or lethal injection is uh, a nice way to die. I no. think it's very painful. It sounds painful. I don't know anyone who's been through it. Um, but yeah, I mean, capital punishment is murder. No, can I have like ten E's? Don't do drugs. Yeah. You, well. Yeah. Fuck it. No. I you mean, know I'm what? No. Smack. Gonna... I'd have loads of smack. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's not food, Mike, but okay. You can eat it. <laughs> Depends yeah. what it's cut with. <laughs> if, you, all right, if you could have heroin-laced uh, heroin food, it would be Korean chicken wings. Are they the, like, the proper chicken wings where it's like, it's deep fried, but it's got like a coating of gacky, sweet... Uh, or, or just gak. Or gak. Okay. <laughs> I, see, I see the theme. You're, you're, <laughs> it's, a very, it's a very strict theme. 
Um, yeah, I, 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 I don't I'm know, not I don't sure know. I want, uh, I want GAC before I, I get um, no, that. Um, my life extinguished. I think I'd probably have a panic attack. Dev, I don't know why I, 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 I think the, the, the theme's going to fucking change. Dev, what would you have for your fucking <laughs> death row dinner? Well, you know, I, th- I think Mike's hitting the nail on the head. We'd be eating together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you can't eat together, you bell end. It's prison. Okay, fuck it. So you and Mike are having a death row dinner together. It's for two now. He's having chicken wings. You can have whatever you want. You don't have to have his heroin wings. You can have anything else. Naughty sesh. <laughs> oh, what a bunch of pricks. Right. T- two pills, four kinds of thatches and a gram. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're allowed a sandwich, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Goodbye, everyone. Nah, only joking. Dev, what would it be? What would you have? Do you remember that salted beef we had at uh, Ross Kilda Festival? Oh, that was cocaine as well, Dev. <laughs> but like, the salted beef. Did. Oh, yeah. Um, Ross Kilda, yeah, it was Ross Kilda. Yeah, sorry, yeah. I'd have that, but instead of salt, it'd be cocaine, obviously. <laughs> Sleep. So, <laughs> oh, nah, mate, honestly, uh, like, I think you're um, you're taking the mic now. Actually, you're not taking this serious. Sorry, Mike. Because anxiety, f- man, you don't want anxiety <laughs> when you're being put to death. That's I, f- I feel like. So you're saying that I just mainly want downers to just forget about it. Yeah, and, like yeah. anything, man, mandrax. You know, all of them. Or like, there's there's food groups that calm you as well. Green tea. Um, yeah, bananas, Green bananas. Tea. Dev, Dev, you get beef, all right? Fried chicken, beef. I mean, you get, like, I think it's $40 limit, except for in Texas where they don't give... <laughs> yeah, that's half a gram. <laughs> <laughs> Every episode, we're going to do the People's Soapbox. People's Soapbox, the master of this episode, is Brian Mimpress. Oh, what, what? <laughs> So, you look more pissed off, Brian, for fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. So, you told me to come on here and talk about one thing that pisses me off. Yes, and I'm please. Gonna have a rant. Now, there's, <laughs> I've got two things that piss me off, but I can deal with them. First one is jazz music. The world is shit enough. No one needs a soundtrack, jazz soundtrack in their life. I can live without, I don't listen to it. You can't, you can't have jazz. What? You can't have jazz. You can have one, but you can't have jazz. No, jazz I'm, is... I'm just listening to the two that I was going to have. All right, then. All right, all right, all right. All right. Second one was Queen, that terrible fucking cabaret rock act from Gates <laughs> that just sounds like an Angel Lloyd Webber B side. Everyone just thinks they like it, they don't, it's shit. But I'm, I'm, we don't listen, I've turned that one off. My, well, my, my rant, Joseph, people that walk down the road whilst reading their mobile phones, they every fucking day, I can't handle it because people do not have the ability to walk at a decent pace in a straight line whilst reading their mobile phone. <laughs> they stop dead. It's discourteous. They walk fucking two mile an hour or they stop dead to read their shit. It's not acceptable. Pisses me off. So, so okay, right. sorry, so Brian. People that, yeah, people so, that fucking walk, right. look at their phone and stop and hold everyone up. Honestly, fucking all go away. Get in the sea. <laughs> all right, so what I'm saying is, thank you very much, Brian. Metaphorically, you've, you've washed your hands of this now. You cleanse yourself. There is no need to carry more anger towards these people. They do not know what they do to you. And now they do. Maybe some of them will think twice. But the best thing to do, my man, is to just watch your step, all right? And just avoid the pricks. Not uh, anger. uh, It's deep hatred that's the problem. If you turn to Jerry, 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 he's off on the monologue. (laughs) Okay, all right. Well, I've got I've got one minute, so I'm gonna have to do that now. Brian, thank you very much. Um, thanks, everyone. Uh, my final thoughts of this are: stay away from Brian on the fucking streets. <laughs> <laughs> See, and um, don't talk to police unless you've got a solicitor present. Thank you very much for your time. Um, thanks to Nadia. Much love. Cheers, Joe. Cheers, Mike. Cheers, Brian. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, no, I really appreciate it. I'll see you on the other side. All right, Brian, you're introing 
our new video from Mr. Motivator. <laughs> this is the new single. It's fucking amazing. It's called Mr. Motivator, and loads of you are probably in the video. Watch it now. Valley TV. Let's see.